you know, it is wrong for President Uhuru to wait for the Retisa and Mapumziko Kabla Kuelezea wa Kenya. What went wrong between him and William Ruto? Kenyans deserve to be told. Kwani iko namna gani? Hata kwa Bishop Utaniruzu tu. Kwa sababu mimi hii mambo imenikera sana. In January 2020 I took trouble nikaenda kutafuta the immediate former cardinal wa Catholic Church John Jue. Nikamaliza hii mambo nikamwelezea hii mambo inanikera kuona yale yanatendeka kati ya hao wawili na marafiki zangu please can you go and get other senior church leaders particularly muende tu kwa sababu muende 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 muongee na wao labda atawaelezea what went wrong paka na leo i've never got an answer they tried bishop i'm aware they tried oh you are there dr lagat you see so you see kwa hivyo mimi nikizungumza yale nasema hapa kericho at least I have a witness eh? i made an effort to say please go and find out what went wrong between these two brothers i have asked president uhuru what is it that your deputy did to you kwa sababu uwezi kusema ati alianza kukampeni mapema hiyo hiyo si makosa Mimi tulianza kufanyia yeye kampeni mapema sana. Eh? Kabla 2013. Huyo huyo huyo. Wakati Kibaki bado alikuwa rais. Kibaki hakuzirika. Kenyans deserve an explanation. And that explanation can only come from none other than the president himself. Siku ile moja tulikuwa bombers na waheshimiwa wengi hapa walikuwa hapo. Rais Uhuru alisimama akasema mimi hatujaketi kuongea na Raila mambo ya 2022. Ilikuwa mambo ya boy ya BBI. Na akatani. I still remember Raila was sitting to the left. I was sitting to the right tukiwa na ndugu yangu William. Akasema hata mnaweza kumuuliza atujazungumza mambo ya 2022 na mimi nikasema that is very good kwa sababu for the longest time rais alikuwa ananiambia kila wakati hii salamu yetu tulisema tunaenda nyumbani pamoja so mimi nikaona rais ameconfirm kweli kumbe kumbe rais actually has been telling me the truth hawaja hawaja hawajaongea mambo ya 2022 sasa mimi nimekuwa nikiuliza swali kwa sababu rais ulisema hamjazungumza na huyu Raila mambo ya 2022. Lakini sasa wewe ndio chama ni chama inaitwa Azimio ambayo ndio candidate wake ni Raila. When did you change? Or who between the two of you changed? Ama namna gani jameni? Don't we require an answer? Kama wa Kenya tu tujue. I've been making this demand because Kenya is a god fearing nation. Tukifuata msingi kama ule tumeambiwa wa mama huyu amelalapa. Sisi ni watu ni wacha Mungu. We just need to be told the truth. So what went wrong? Kuna makosa gani naibu wako alikufanyia wewe rais uhuru? Tuambie alafu sasa sisi tutajua alafu sisi tutajiamulia lakini uwezi kunyamaza na ulituambia huyu mtaenda nyumbani pamoja kwa sababu ulisema mtaenda pamoja na Raila kwa sababu hujatuambia makosa yale William Ruto amefanya basi sisi for me as a lawyer more comment my interpretation is because i still hold that wataenda nyumbani pamoja kwa hivyo rais huru anatuambia tarehe tisa tutoke kwa wingi eh? kwa wingi yeye kwa sababu yeye anaenda nyumbani kikatiba naye huyu mwingine tumpeleke sisi wenyewe tufanye nini yes
mwenye alienda tu azimio ni uhuru peke yake. Na sisi tunajua hata mama Margaret Kenyatta atatupigia sisi. Sisi tunajua hata ukiona sura ya mama Margaret ni yetu. So mtu mwenye sijui tumwombee siku ya kupiga kura tu abadilike ni uhuru Kenyatta. So tukiongeza wale tulikuwa tumekaa pamoja na tuongeze wale hatukuwa na hawa I believe we are winning the next election by 65% kwenda juu and that is the confidence we have as the people of Kenya Kwanza. Kwa hivyo we want to send a challenge to the Inspector General of Police. Wewe kama umeshindwa na kazi toka kwa ofisi. Kenya cannot go to an election with an IG who is a puppet of the state that is only providing security to part of the uh, candidates while frustrating others. That one is unacceptable. Was that CPC was the most stupid project of Uhuru Kenyatta. It is the most painful project. Right now we are talking of rising economy. And when government is treating us, when you talk of matters of peace, the other day they were throwing stones at William Ruth and Chagarani. So we want to tell the government that when you put on your breath, please treat us carefully. So that you don't instigate violence and then you come and build peace at the same time. What happened at Chagarani was wrong. And you want all candidates to campaign at equal platform. So this CPC, and I pray to you, JB and Nanok, that when you take over government, the government of Uru has been more painful than COVID-19. My request is streamline some of these things.